Uh oh, we got one. Yeah. If I'm guilty of the ball and I'm my okay, so the If you think I hit a wall, order. boy, I'm Tom Holland I see when it was a star that back when we were starving you Why you think my circle no. small made me feel enormous I'm standing ten toes tall with a blue collar You know I did it for the dogs cause they rock wireless Remember talking to the walls back when they confined us I never cover up the scars cause they still remind us uh, sorting some parts out to go in bins. Um, this is one of our new green slash blue colors. Gonna go live here soon. Alt F4 Mile Cinch Partner Sticker, which is pretty cool. We're gonna reorder these and get them out to our partners. Uh, got some Xbox controllers in. White controllers over here. Some boxes and garbage going out. Um, some more white PS5 controllers. Several boxes of that. PS5, uh, Xbox. Some more Xbox over here. Xbox up there. We got some day strike controllers going up on instant shifts. These are pretty uh, cool looking controllers. I'm a big fan of these ones myself. I think we sent one. Yeah, we sent this one to Gamer Advantage too. So Brian over there um, has one of these. Two back buttons, standard triggers on these guys. Everyone left for the day because it is snowmageddon out here right now. Uh, crazy ice storm coming in. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just not very much snow right now, but it's getting very bad. This is a new content uh, creation area. My voice is kind of echoing in here. I gotta put some soundproof foam up. In the alt and cinch office, red for cinch, uh, green for alt. This is my personal private office and I'm gonna show you my desk. It is an absolute mess with controllers, keyboards, uh, the new alt board which we haven't released yet in the works. Um, ton of stuff, Master Chief helmet, uh, just controllers everywhere. Our new inserts just came in which are pretty cool. And uh, Got some cool facts on there in the back. Gonna be shooting a lot of TikToks here today, I think. Um, got this light on the ground. I gotta clean up the cables. I think I'm gonna wrap these and then um, heat shrink some black stuff around there and then run it through the cracks and divots of this down to the ground, but haven't decided exactly how yet. So we're gonna see. Kinda went in a little purchasing spree here with some stuff I got. I think five Elgato key lights now. Four airs, five airs in a standard size one. I don't know, I have a lot of key lights though. Also, laser engraving is now a thing at Cinch Gaming. Um, free laser engraving, in fact, on PS5 for a limited time, and also free on the under 150 controllers. So we can put your gamer tag here, as you can tell. You get the focus there. Gamer tag here. We can put gamer nerd, if that's your thing. Shout out Brandon. We can put Philbo, we can put whatever you want on these. So check it out. Cinch Gaming is free right now for a limited time. And then it'll be a couple bucks, but it's 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 a pretty nice feature. We got this awesome, uh, very expensive laser engraver. You turn it on like a nuclear reactor. You push this button, turn the key, and it. Yep, there we go. There's the nuclear sound. Um, testing a couple different things on keyboards and yada 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 right now. But this thing is powerful. I mean, let me tell you, you could probably put a hole through your finger if you really wanted to. Not gonna try it. No laser tattoos going on here. February is typically a slower month in uh, the gaming world, at least for uh, product on our end, controllers, keyboards, historically it's been like that every year. So what we're doubling down on now is content, content, content. TikTok is absolutely the place to be right now, everyone knows that. Although I have noticed a large algorithm change in the last few weeks that is kind of cutting down um, business accounts viewership. Um, it's kind of changing things up a little bit. So. The way we're kind of combating this is making multiple channels and posting different kind of content to every single channel. There's Cinch Controllers, Cinch Gaming, we're doing Cinch Behind the Scenes. Um, so combating those with multiple accounts to get a higher chance on the For You page is really the goal now. However, uh, yet to be seen um, uh, how, that, how that affects one account, I, I don't know, you know, you post these videos and sometimes you think, okay, well there's multiple accounts on my phone. Do they know that? Do they know I'm posting from the same device? Yada, yada, yada. We tried scheduling from PC, which is really cool. However, the, uh, uh, you know, you can't add noises or sounds in there and you can't post thumbnails on your videos. Um, however, I did just discover TikTok captions, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys are content creators out there, I would definitely check out the captions app for uh, iPhone. You can add captions in your videos and it looks really cool. It's very, very easy to do. I think that helps uh, get more views on your videos with the uh, discoverability. I spent a lot of my time actually making TikToks at this station. I like to do it between the hours of like 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. Office is kind of quiet then. There's only a couple people working, so it's a little bit easier to get uh, noise isolation in the videos. 
came across this controller a few minutes ago and I want to show it to you. It's Galaxy with blue and white and I wanted to show you why I'm showing it to you. That's kind of a lot of saying showing it to you. But the two different color buttons here is one of the cinch benefits I think. Not a lot of companies offer this customization. Um, since we've launched ours, a couple have kind of copied our style I think of our builder. But um, yeah, it's, it's the customization. You can do a lot of different things through Cinch that you can't do anywhere else. And Xbox Builder, I get it. It's kind of boring right now. We're working on it. It's almost done. But in terms of customization, um, really, I think we have the most options at this point, which is, uh, I think, a really, really strong suit to Cinch and kind of a testament to who we are. We like to have the most customization options, the most um, details. Uh, we spend a lot of time on our builds. Everything gets tested quite good. So anyway, just thought I'd show that off. Shout out to Trey Try over at Vast and now Poggers sent us this drink. This stuff tastes incredible. Um, Zach that sits right here is absolutely hooked on it. In fact, he keeps it at his desk with the Pogger Shaker Cup. It's really interesting because this is kind of like, uh, you know, that's a, that's a meme and they made a drink out of it. I don't know. It's really, really good though. And uh, Pog Pop, it tastes incredible. All right, like I said, everyone's gone for the day. Um, a lot of snow outside, big ice storm. Also, Call of Duty Ranked Play comes out tomorrow, which one employee is going crazy over. Nate, yeah, I'm too. Uh, Nate, if you're watching this, I'm sorry you placed T128 last tournament. I know you gotta get better. Let me know, I'll be your coach. It's really easy to get caught up in this idea that, oh, I'm not gaining followers. My stream numbers are dropping. My sales are down. I'm also it's February, which is typically, like I said, a lower month for, um, gaming in general so don't panic double down your content make better content post more that's just how it works you have to be everywhere all the time no matter what keep creating the content that's the process that's how it works you know the biggest streamers get in the door here the biggest streamers of all time ninja dr respect tim tam and they posted content 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 that's how they got big you're not going to get big unless you keep posting and don't keep posting the same stuff mix it up try different things try podcasts try this try that behind the scenes people want to see that stuff believe it or not they want to see we're in a gaming office here like they want to see what it looks like and it's really cool to see that it's hard to you know like ego check yourself right because i i i i don't like People that are like, oh my God, look what I got. Look at this, look at that, look at this. Like, like I got this, check this out. I don't really show my life off that often. I, I don't use Facebook really. I mean, I don't show my life off at all. Minus pictures of my son or something. So getting behind the camera and showing stuff off and, and just being active every day has been a challenge. But um, I think that's the goal now is to kind of show everyone what we're doing here all the time. Be more transparent and show everyone uh, the process. Also, a lot of people are asking for PS4 controllers. There's a few of them we're gonna be putting up as instant chips here this week. This laser engraver um, came uh, with the company when I purchased Cinch. It's like very, very expensive. It was like seven grand for this thing. It's pretty crazy, it's pretty insane. Just a kind of a random look at some uh, photo and TikTok props. We have all the mouse pads from Alt. Well, not all of them, but quite a few. Some backgrounds here, some drills for the builders, and um, yeah, our content studio is right next to the laser over here now. Got these cool backlights I gotta turn on really quick. In fact, I'm gonna get down there and do that. Change the color of them. Really kind of sets the tone and mood for a video. It's pretty cool. PS5 box, old style. Old style Xbox box. New ones are on the way. I've been creating one on my live stream lately. So if you wanna check out the creation process for those, you can watch my live stream from last week. But um, yeah, PS5 Pro Tactical hanging out here with back buttons and triggers. What you hear right now is this laser. It's very, very loud. Lucky enough to score a PS5 here too. Um, so I think a buddy of mine, Kyle, is gonna come pick this up tomorrow. Got a controller here from Nate's desk. Looks like uh, Hulk or Buzz Lightyear or something. I don't know, pretty cool. Mouse click triggers on this guy. Action buttons on the back. New clicky style. Pretty cool controller in my opinion. Man, same with this one, there we go. I've shot like five videos today, and they're all, I keep shooting them like a TikTok this way. I'm so used to filming this way. Man. That check from last video that Miguel was holding is now up here. We have some uh, Xbox 20th anniversary custom backs with the grips on them too. If anyone has a special use for these or you want to get them off me, uh, let me know, shoot me a DM. We have a lot of them chilling here. This is what I call the spare parts bin. This will get sorted out eventually when one of our sorters comes in. This is like parts we go through on a daily basis, extra, a touchpad, extra 
X buttons, extra everything. This whole container is filled with extra stuff. We have someone coming through uh, every week to sort this out. Presley, if you're listening, I got some work for you, dude. And um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put this back on the shelf as a separate little space. Also, uh, very big question I get asked, when is new Xbox options coming? Well, we're gonna like literally 30X our options here, hopefully this week, whenever I get around to it. I'm almost done with the builder, the 3D customizer, I'm almost, I've almost finished it. So going through some new options, new parts, this whole really, this whole back area is kind of overflow and controller parts that need to go on the builder. So that is on my to-do list. I'd show you guys what it looks like in my content studio at the Alt Cinch offices. This is um, uh, just kind of a studio production light. I have a lot of these. I have like five key lights I need to hook up still. Have some props here. Um, an F4 ultralight from Alt still in the box. I think we're gonna do an unboxing for this guy and show it off on TikTok, um, which is mainly what this is used for is TikTok. Uh, win a cinch controller giveaway board, which we sign a lot of these now when we send them out. An Alt mouse, very, very light by the way. Um, some V-Bucks from an order, I think, that didn't get claimed, return, so gonna be giving those away too. Um, a Sony A7C, which I haven't used in a long time, honestly. I use the A7C now, which is an updated, smaller version of this camera. A little bit harder to hold, but um, definitely much lighter. Got some content ideas here. If you can see my cinch list, my alt list, my Jake personal profile list, which the Jake one needs some updating, and so does alt, apparently. But yeah, kind of going through and checking these off today, hoping to finish them all up. Got some mouse pads here, um, some photo backdrops. I'll show you, we have a laser engraving station that's uh, under construction right now, by the way. Some mouse pads that we use for all of our pictures and props, um, different backdrops, things like that. Also, I think we're watching, yeah, phase and subliners. Optic just beat Breach a few minutes ago. Always have some COD or something out in the office. Most of the time it's Dr. Disrespect or Tim the Tapman, to be quite honest. Mic check, mic check. Mic, 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 these things are pretty cool voice activated. These lights, uh, sorry for my phone going off here. You can change every single thing on them. Let's do this. Kind of hard to tell with the ISO I got set up in this camera right now, but you can change every little effect on here and it's all done through this app. So for backgrounds, pictures, just a cool light system for your office or, or gaming setup, these things are definitely the way to go. I like that the best, the fire one. Um, look, even this camera just looks really nice in the background and I use it for almost everything. It is the Govi, so I have it over here, the Govi uh, RGBIC light bar. I think it's called the Lively light bar. Definitely worth it. That's gonna do it for this video. Um, gonna try to post more often here and show you guys what it looks like to work in a gaming company. Everyone will be back probably Saturday after this snowstorm. Uh, it goes over. The good thing about uh, our employees here is they like to work here, I think. So uh, we have a lot of people in on the weekends and um, yeah, throughout uh, Sunday, Saturday night. We have a night shift even. Mr. Zach here comes in very, very late and works through the night. Last night I was out here until I think like 2.45, 3 a.m. with him, um, doing some builds and yeah. So see you in the next video.